Hi everybody, welcome back. Um, in this video, I'm going to try to do a bloom recipe swipe on a black pillow. So this is my first time trying a black pillow. This is the Colorplace Satin Black Onyx. Um, and I'm going to try to remember the colors as we go. That is Thalo Blue by Amsterdam. And this is using the Bloom Recipe, so if you're not familiar with the Bloom Recipe, um, I would definitely recommend checking out Shelly's class. Um, and I'll put the link below. There's a 15% off coupon <clears throat> if you haven't taken it, excuse me. And um, it will definitely take your art to another level, in my opinion. So, you know, traditionally a swipe is sort of a line straight across. And then you swipe, you know, both directions or swipe straight down. Um, but this one I wanted to kind of swipe in different directions or um, kind of do um, a different swipe. Um, kind of been watching Lisa Marvin a lot lately and I really like how she kind of swipes in different directions. So that's, didn't fully accomplish that in this painting, but I experimented a little bit more. Um, it's kind of hard on these long canvases. But anyway, this is a level 1, 10 by 20 canvas. That uh, purple color is, I think that's Deep Violet by Liquitex. And I'm using some of my interference colors up that I already had mixed. I also put some greenish blue by Amsterdam down with the phthalo blue. So I wanted to have some, some tube paints on the bottom because, you know, I love my primary elements and so I'm about to add those on the top and I didn't want them to completely um, kind of fade into the black paint. So this is Payne's Gray by Color Art, Primary Elements. That color, I'm trying to remember, it's Stargazer maybe? I don't remember, so sorry. I had a bunch of paint mixed up, but that's what I think it is. Or Northern Lights, one of the two. I think it's Stargazer. And this is Boysenberry. I love Boysenberry. I don't think I'm very shy about it. You can see how I'm slinging it on there like it's gold. This, The colors I used on this piece are actually fairly similar to a swipe I did a while back. And I still had some of them mixed up, so that's one of the reasons I wanted to use them. This is Northern Lights, I think. But <clears throat> I wanted to throw in that purple just to make it a little bit different on the bottom. I didn't want it to be exactly the same. And I want to say that color is... I honestly don't remember. I'm sorry. It, it's definitely a color art color. I'm adding in some more Payne's Gray. And that's probably Snapdragon I'm adding to the top. I'm very messy. Everybody's very clean and neat and they have just beautiful lines and I just throw it on there. Very messy. But I was also not wanting to lose it all off the side. <clears throat> and I used a lot of Interference Gold and Interference Violet um, by Color Art. And you couldn't really tell how pronounced they would be until the piece dried. And I'm sorry, I don't I don't think I have a dried result for this video yet. Um, it has been resin, it has dried, um, and you can really see the interference colors. Now this color is Papillon, and I added the tiniest bit of Amsterdam light sky blue because it has a little more opacity and I knew that that color would do well under the cell activator. I'm using a blue violet cell activator by Amsterdam. So I'm using Amsterdam blue violet, one part paint to three parts Australian Floetrol. I had just mixed it up, I think that day that I recorded this video. <clears throat> Sorry, I have allergies today. So I don't know what I'm doing back there that's taking me so long. Oh, 
I know what I was doing, getting the swiping cards. So I always pour my cell activator on the very edge of a little paint swatch, and then I swipe that way. You can tell that I wasn't quite sure how I was going to accomplish my unique swiping at this point. I just knew I wanted to do something a little different. I really want to use some of my wood rounds and my MDF rounds and to kind of experiment with that, but I just haven't had a lot of time lately. But that's definitely different than just the up and down. I wanted something a little unique. So I'm just putting a little bit on the edge of the card. And I didn't really mind if I had some black negative space here and there, but I just didn't want there to be a ton of it. So This looks so messy. I'm like looking where all the paint is, but I mean, it doesn't, if you're going to swipe it, it doesn't really matter. And I kind of like the colors to be different and unique. So I kind of do it on purpose sometimes. And that blue violet um, cell activator, I think looks so pretty against those colors. Just kind of pulls it all together. I was nervous about adding that deep violet tube paint in. I was afraid that it would kind of overdo the purple. It didn't really seem to. I think, if anything, it really caused the interference violet to show more. But you can't really tell that until it dries. So it's going to be hard to, to see that. I do post the dried results on our social media once they're resined and all that if I don't include them in the video. Sometimes I don't include them in the video because it just takes too long to get videos edited sometimes if I do that. <clears throat> Excuse me, but it has been resined. It did dry beautifully. It did dry. Um, so a lot of the colors kind of darkened up a lot, which I kind of expected, but it's still really is it's a beautiful piece I think and so while we're swiping away um, in the description box below I really try to list uh, paint colors that I use and give you our Amazon links if you decide to purchase through any of our Amazon links there's no cost to you it does help our channel though so we appreciate that and um, if you're an Arteza user there is a promo code in the description box below. There's a promo code for Shelly's class. If you haven't taken it, I highly recommend it for a couple of reasons. Like I learned the bloom technique before I took Shelly's class and I didn't have a lot of success. I, I mean, I could do it, but it wasn't something I liked a lot. The results weren't going super well. Um, when I took her class, it really helped me kind of see her process, and obviously she does an extraordinary job. But also, you, you're given access to a group where other students kind of share their best practices and what works for them, and I would say the community of people is worth the cost of the course. Right now, the cost of the course is not maybe as high as it normally would be, especially with the coupon code. And um, I think that alone is, is worth the cost because you really get great advice from people who have taken her course and who have had trial and error, especially like if, you know, Shelly's in Australia. So <clears throat> if you're in the U.S. or another country, uh, learning from other people who may have products that you can purchase where you are, or they've tried something that works if you are in a unique climate or, you know, there's so many variables. It makes a huge difference. So that's my two cents. It definitely took my art to another level after I took it. So now we're tilting. You can see some of the interference colors really well as we're tilting. They really kind of open up. <clears throat> Sorry about that. 
and I'm just trying to cover the corner edges but I'm also not trying to compromise the complete composition of the piece so I'm kind of going slowly to the corner back to the center slowly to the other side back to the center and trying to make sure that my edges get covered as well because you don't want to um, just stretch all at one time super fast because it will cause your composition to suffer so you can see some of those colors peeking through I know with a dark background it's kind of hard to tell but um, you can see where I swiped kind of in that black area on the top middle to the left you can see just gent gentle color you can also see where the interference gold is peeking through a little bit I really liked the way this turned out you know like this was my first time using a black pillow and I told my husband you know instead of like using a tile or something to practice no I just grabbed 10 by 20 canvas and thought well let's give it a shot you know and I still really really thought it turned out great and I wasn't sure if that deep violet color would kind of ruin the colors and I, I don't really feel like it did and if you're not familiar with color art pigments I use color art pigments in probably nearly everything that I do with acrylics and so um, if you haven't tried Leslie's products they're amazing I'm also a resin artist and I use them on tumblers I use them on resin projects <clears throat> and they're just outstanding and I love them so much. I also have a, a lot of people um, share that they're not comfortable with how to mix pigments for the bloom technique. I have a video on our channel where I mixed, um, I mixed up the pouring medium and I also mixed up some tube paints and some pigments for the bloom recipe. So you're welcome to check that out. I use pigments in bloom recipes all the time and I really love using them so I, I will say a lot of times it's just a learning curve and finding out what works for you but you're certainly welcome to check it out there it is so I'm just cleaning up the edges now and I couldn't really put it all the way down because there's paint everywhere but um, I hope that you will like and subscribe to our channel and leave us a comment let us know what you think sorry about the the glare it's hard to not have a glare on a black background but I honestly think it turned out really beautiful when it dried some of the blues are a little bit more muted um, but the violet and the interference gold definitely pop they turned out really nicely so here's your close-up The lacing and the cells just turned out beautiful. And this was the first time I had kind of swiped all wonky like that. And I really kind of like it. It looks like a messy flower, maybe. I don't know. I like it. I like the composition a lot. 